to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Today, I am bringing to you a farmhouse DIY using an item from the Dollar Tree. I'll also be using some of the Waverly chalk paint that you can get at Walmart. I am back on a roll of really liking this chalk paint. It really does add a different dimension of farmhouse to the DIYs that I'm bringing to you over the next couple of weeks. In my recent Michaels haul, I picked up a folk art crackle paint that I am just obsessed with right now. Like I said, it brings a whole new look to farmhouse using this crackle paint that is so budget friendly and that's something that I'll be using today. So let's jump into it. Let me show you what I have in mind for this farmhouse DIY using an item from the Dollar Tree. For this farmhouse DIY, I picked up three of these metal platters from the Dollar Tree. I picked up two of the rectangle and one round. These wall decor decals that you can find at the Dollar Tree as well. Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of satin nutmeg. I'll also be using some of this folk art crackle medium. Some Waverly chalk paint in the color of ivory. And this decorative nautical rope that you can also find at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start this DIY off by using Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of Satin Nutmeg and I'm going to spray paint all three platters with a base coat of this spray paint. Once the platters are dry, I will be using this Folk Art Crackle Medium. I hauled this in my latest Michaels haul. I'm going to apply a coat of this over all three of the platters using a paintbrush. You want to make sure and really cover the platter good with this because if you miss any spots, it's going to kind of alter the outcome and the look of these platters. I am so excited to finally be bringing to you a DIY using this. This stuff is amazing. I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to let them dry for about an hour to an hour and a half because before we move on to the next step, you want to make sure that this crackle medium is good and dry. My platters are now dry using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory. I'm gonna apply a nice coat of this chalk paint over the top of the medium that we just put. When working with this chalk paint now, you're gonna need to move pretty quickly in applying this paint because it will dry quickly because of the crackle medium. And as you apply it, you will see the crackled paint effect starting to take place as you're painting this. You don't want to apply more than one coat. You don't want to keep going over it because it will affect the outcome of that crackle finish. So one coat is all you need to apply when applying this chalk paint over the crackle medium. And would you look at how stinking cool that looks? This is so farmhouse chic, I can hardly stand it. Now I'm going to take the wall decals from the Dollar Tree and just simply apply them to the center of these platters, giving us a really cool piece of wall decor. Farmhouse wall decor, farmhouse chic wall decor. I love it. This is such a quick and easy farmhouse DIY and the outcome is amazing. I decided that I wanted to go with the decorative nautical rope that the Dollar Tree carries to hang these. So I'm going to take just about an 8 or 10 inch piece of this rope and I'm going to hot glue it to the back of these platters, giving this piece even more of that farmhouse rustic feel. Now let's go hang these up and see how they look. And there you have it. This is such a quick and easy farmhouse chic wall decor piece. And the best part is it is so budget friendly and you never know that this was made using Dollar Tree items. Don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. I 
I am loving the way these platters turned out. I think that they are just so stinking farmhouse and rustic. And like I said, tell me that crackle paint just does not add a whole new level of farmhouse to this DIY. I love the way it looks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and help YouTube to recognize my channel just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.